We have a delivery from the sky for a special gopher player. Nothing, absolutely nothing beats the exact moment when a walk-on learns he's not a walk-on anymore. We'd like to congratulate Austin Halsett for being awarded the scholarship. <laughs> But some programs go to greater lengths and heights to deliver the good news. This isn't to show off, but this is to give somebody something they deserve, but do it in a way that, that fits them. From about my sophomore year of high school, it was my dream to be in the military. I really believe in protecting people, and that meant something to me, or it still means something to me. When a failed hearing exam ended his dreams of a military career, Bailey Schoenfelder enrolled at Minnesota. Instead of joining special forces, he joined the Golden Gophers special teams as a walk-on. And then, at Minnesota's August 9th evening practice, Schoenfelder got a gift from the heavens. Everybody inside, everybody in the goal line, everybody in the end zone, hurry up. Letter from Washington, why don't you open that up? We're lucky to have you on this football team. I'm nothing, I'm not special. I'm just the normal guy. But I got heart, I know I do, and I got desire. Yeah! He isn't the only one. Every year, some of those normal guys. Hey, we got two gifts for these guys, but I'm gonna let them fight it out for the best one. Become big men on campus. So it's not right that you guys are walk-ons, you're both on scholarship. It's the story everybody wants to see. And when that guy can earn a scholarship, it's like, wow. Just being excellent in everything you do. Hey. What's up? I was awarded a full ride scholarship today. Every walk-on has a story, but few have endured more than Amir Aziz, who at age 15 not only lost his house to fire, but became estranged from his parents. I was homeless. I uh, stayed in the, the field at uh, my old high school. I was, I was like a legit a bum. I mean, I had a pillow, I had a pillow, I had a blanket. He also had a plan, enroll at hometown UNLV worked two jobs, including the graveyard shift at a casino to pay for UNLV, and become a walk-on. Why didn't you give up? <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know how to. His reward? Well, it was magical. Got one of my most difficult stunts to perform for you right now. This is a straight jacket, uh, but I need some help from somebody, and I need somebody big. Is that, is that your name, Aziz? Yeah, was good. yeah nice to meet you. I'm Farrell. Uh, here, come over here. <laughs> One, two, three. I got one more thing for you. I know this is really creepy right now. This is Las Vegas, <laughs> and right, I got something gonna, for you. I got something for you. No? Yeah. Oh no, no. <laughs> no. I had the golden ticket, you know. And after that moment, like everything, everything changed. It's like I'm 345, you know. It's like a hundred pounds got lifted off of me, you know. What did you do with that scholarship letter? It's like I wake up every day and I see it, you know, hung up. Those words are, are always going to mean something, you know? 